hello guys welcome back to this new tutorial here this is the part 4 and if you don't know there are already three parts that I have completed before so before watching this I'll you, it would be better if you guys watch that those parts and so we are back here and if you guys can click here it's this website is uh, not there yet so it's uh, it's saying that uh, website evil c mac dot tk has been successfully installed on the server please delete the file default dot blah, blah 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 and i'll tell you about all this and what it is and just for now let's cancel this and i want you guys to scroll down all the way down more down okay not more down just go up go up okay not there okay here Anyways, I want you guys to go here to the file section and this file section here click on this file manager 2 okay there are multiple ways to upload your website to this uh, hosting site but I'll I, it's rather easy to upload it via online so why don't you guys do it online so anyways uh, I'll be moving forward with this tutorial now. Okay, so yeah, uh, you guys can do do it. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, so I want you guys to click on this uh, file manager, so you guys don't have to install any softwares on your laptop or PC. So just click on this file manager, and it's gonna take you to a cPanel file manager dot hosting dot n something like that uh, yeah okay so we are here so okay whenever you guys are creating a website so for example i'm gonna be creating a website say i haven't created a website here so i use this uh, subline test as one of the okay i have uh, something of a great uh, layout already figured it's a uh, sublime text is very good I'm gonna save it as dot html it's already saved as dot html so I'm gonna save it on my desktop let's see if the yeah I can see on the desktop I'm just gonna add something here in the center I'm gonna add uh, say h1 oh let's h1 and uh, hey this is my hosted hi okay, I'm gonna add this is my first hosted site okay so i'm gonna have added some text over here and i've uh, assigned it to h1 i hope you guys know html and i hope you i'm assuming you guys know html and css and you have already created a website so i'm gonna create the simple website now i'm just gonna cancel it and if you guys can see double click it and there this is my first hosted site so this is on the local this is my local machine okay this is not hosted yet so okay so that is done and i've created this index.html website so now we have this okay so we're gonna go back to this ftp client that we had clicked remember this uh, file manager and it opened it into this new window now i want you guys to go into this folder okay public folder and go to click this uh, button here upload and click on this upload button so now you guys will be given with two choices uh here is one choice where you guys can uh, upload individual files but uh, for some times when your project is uh, huge uh, you guys might need uh, to upload it with a zip file okay rar does not work here make sure you guys know that rar does not work here uh, i made a mistake prior to it so rar does not uh, you need uh, the files to be zipped for now i'll just you uh, since i have just one file here i'm gonna choose that it's on the desktop and make sure your main HTML document is index.html not any other thing so that the this page recognizes it so once you have uploaded this uh, website you can see this uh, sorry uh, it has okay the file got 
one chosen for some reason anyways once you have selected the index.html just click this tick green tick over here submit access key whatever it is and uh, we wait for it and it's done so we click one more time remember to click one more time so transferring files to the FTP server we'll click one more time just for the assurance of it and now you're gonna go back so I'm gonna show you exactly where your files have uploaded so see over here the index.html you guys can see index.html over here which has been uploaded so you guys can play with uh, new things over here so you guys can copy this select this file you guys can copy move delete rename download save unzip size search whatever you guys can do with it these are the functions they have provided with okay so this part is done coming back to this uh, the uh, website has been hosted and i'm just gonna cancel it from here let do blah 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 okay so okay so the main part of it hasn't been done yet so now what i want you guys to do is use custom name servers so just click on these details and since you guys are going to be using these website hosted websites i want you to copy this and paste it over here and paste it again over here paste it again over here and one more time the only thing you guys need to change is this the numbers need to match these numbers now so let's change this to 4 and we're done to so change the game servers that is it your uh, your website is live now that is it you you have a live website now and if any time you guys want to change uh, the content of the website you guys can go to the dashboard here and go back to that file manager here into the public.html so say for example you want to add some image or add some link to it you guys can just click over it and you're done that is it this is the index.html and you guys are done that is it so now if i go ahead and you see mac dot tk and that is it see my website is hosted this is my first hosted website it is that simple guys and if you're a student you guys can experiment over here a lot and you guys can do whatever you guys want and since this is free and you have a knack for learning well go for it so that is it guys uh, thank you for watching and i hope i have eight subscriptions by now Thank you and uh, like, share and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Thank you.